Well, welcome once again to highlights from the Tour of Azerbaijan. The Tour, a professional five-day stage race taking place around Baku and the foothills of the Greater Caucasus, the only international and professional cycling event in Azerbaijan. The Tour of Azerbaijan is a 2.2 event on the UCI Europe Tour. Starting in the capital of Baku, the race taking the riders from the capital out to Ismaili in stage two, over 183 kilometers, 770 kilometers over the five days of racing in total but this one 183 kilometer route between Baku and Ismaili before we turn to the action let's hear from the race director of course as I told you now we are nearly on uh, on, on sea level bottom and we're going up 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 uh, to uh, the highest uh, 800 meters altitude and then this is steep downhill and we have another 300 uh, meters altitude to the mountain prize category one and after that uh, I think there are a lot of small groups and it goes little down and on the highland uh, nearly flat to the finish and uh, that's the character of the of, of this stage we have um, backwind to, uh, till this road and then it will be uh, the, the small groups will happen here in the mountains and that will be maybe uh, at least um, the, uh, the, um, the main um, stage for the race anyway. Okay. So the stage started in the Baku Velo Park, a venue that Azerbaijan has high hopes for building its cycling future around. Cycling track, a BMX track and a hotel, just some of the facilities that have been added so the venue can be used at the inaugural European Games, which is a multi-sport event that will take place in 2015 in the Azer capital. 49 countries competing across 20 different sports in what will be the first European Games of its kind. Second stage, the longest, with 183 kilometers to be negotiated and plenty of elevation en route, as we saw. The first few kilometers of the stage took the peloton along the avenue alongside the Caspian Sea, bordering Baku from the east. But at the 50-kilometer mark, a group of 22 riders broke away. Aichin Asadov and Alexander Suratovich from the Synergy Baku Cycling Project Hernai Broco, Ri Miguel Sousa Barbosa and Johnny Silva Brandao from Epfal Glass Drive. Sergei Gretchen from Toku Sekuspor Turkey. Kershin Thiel from Radnet Rose Team and Tolly Paktusov from ISD Continental. We had Indulis Bekmanis from Alpha Baltic Unity Marathon.com. Sho Hatsuyama and Damien Monnier from Bridgestone Anchor. Janjos Bizkitov and Baktia Kozyatev from Continental Team Astana. Martin Craigs, Stefan Van Zummeren and Frederick Friesen from Lotto Belisol's under-23 outfit. Oscar Hernandez Martinez and Ion Anda Insuati Erantstotha from the Spanish national team. And Sirai Papok and Pavel Rahel from the national team of Belarus. As they approach the final kilometers of what was to be the second mountain finish, the group was still all together out in front. Azerbaijani mountain bridges for the most part rise and fall around a, a thousand meters in altitude. The highest peak in the Caucasus is around 4,500 meters. The second stage taking the riders up the Caspian from sea level to about one kilometer high at the final mountain finish. So a pretty daunting ride all in all, especially considering that these riders, many of them coming from semi-pro teams, would be taking on this sort of climb for the first time on a, a regular tour. During the winter months, these mountains host a number of ski resorts, but in the summer, conditions relatively dry and hot. And here on the 2nd of May 2013, conditions over 20 degrees, and there was a slight southwesterly breeze blowing in. So the group's still together at this stage and working well together as a team as well.
150 kilometers into the stage. That was the final point for a real attack. The opportunity grasped in the end by five riders. Ricardo Vielet, you just saw there, taking the maximum points for the King of the Mountain jersey on that particular climb. But as far as the climbing overall was concerned, whilst the, the main peloton laboured behind trying to find their way to close the gap down on those riders who were out in front, there was to be another splinter group in the front group. Ricardo Viela was the man who was to lead that charge and he took with him on this occasion Poznanyanok, Gretchen, Monnier and Kulimbetov and they were to battle it out over the closing 30 kilometers for the stage win. They also managed to extend their advantage as soon as they were over the peak of the final climb and that was showing some excellent technique on the descent, working well together as a quintet, which allowed them to draw out their advantage over the concluding 30 kilometers. It was the next 12 kilometers that they did the real damage, though. As you can see, the familiar colors there of continental team Astana. Paktia Kozyatev, the man sporting those colours and joined on this occasion by Sergei Grechin from Toku Sekes Sport Turkey, who of course were fresh off the back of celebrating victory of one of their riders in the Tour of Turkey just a few days ago. But also up here, Kulimbetov. Monnier from the Bridgestone Anchor team and Pozdyakov. And they continued to extend this advantage as they drove down towards the finish. However, there were to be further attacks and with 18 kilometers to go before the finish line. And that group of five was down to two. Gretchen and Monnier, the two riders to forge the advantage. The Frenchman in far better shape at this point in the stage one would have imagined because he'd lent heavily on teammate Sho Hatsuyama throughout the breakaway while Gretchen had been the only man from the Torku Seke Sport team for over 120 kilometers and yet it was the man from Torku Seke Sport who made the decisive break, going out on his own. And as you can see, Monnier had absolutely nothing left to give to head off in pursuit of him. Ukrainian hitting the accelerator pedal within the final two kilometers. He went on to win the stage by a margin of 51 seconds in the end. Moniek dropped back to the other four riders. He was to lose pace in the run into the line to the finish and consequently finished down in fourth position. It was Gretchen who took the plaudits as he came across this line, 51 seconds out in front. Sudokovic made it a Ukraine 1-2 and it was Kazakhstan's Bakhtia Kozyatev who finished in third place. So an emotional day for Gretchen as he picked up his seventh professional win. Now let's hear from the right. He said, well, to be honest, I didn't know the mountain at all. I expected it to be both longer and harder. I wanted to attack Monnier on that climb, but it turned out that he gave up on me. After the mountains, there were five of us. I looked around, I looked where to attack, and luckily for me, one attack was, was enough to win this stage, and I have to say I feel very fortunate about that. I'm Sergei Gretchen. 
So confirmation of the podium. Kozjatev, Surotkovic and Gretchen, the riders up there on the podium and Gretchen picking up a seventh professional win in his career. Once again, your one, two, three on the stage. So confirmation of the stage, Gretchen, Surikovic making it a Ukraine one, two. Kozjatev completing the podium. Then there was Monie, Viela, Bizigetov, Andriyanovs, Hatsiyama, Vandaha and Paktushov completing the top 10. So into the overall leader's jersey goes the stage winner. And Gretchen could well be very hard to shift. He currently has a 51 second advantage over Surakovic. Because Yatyev in third in what is exactly the same as our top 10 from the individual rankings on the stage itself. So Viela, the man who picks up the King of the Mountains jersey after the brutal climbs they took on. He has a one-point advantage over Alexander Surakovic and with the amount of climbs still to come, you can expect that to change potentially on stage three. Johnny Silva Brandau down on three points with Hachiyama and Monier also there. So in the sprint overall ranking in the points jersey this is. Sergei Gretchen is the leader now on 28 points. He's eight points ahead of yesterday's stage winner Christoph Schweitzer. So it was an eventful day in the mountains for the peloton on the tour's longest stage. Stage three is going to see them do a loop up into the Caucasus from Kabala. And once again, there are a number of decent climbs for them to negotiate. 170 kilometers in total. And that is going to allow the riders plenty of opportunity to attack. And it also finishes on a mountain top as well. So another interesting stage that will take us over halfway through the 2013 Tour of Azerbaijan. There could be some interesting changes both in the G...